Software Spring Presence How to use IRR in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the IRR function. Let's begin with an introduction to IRR. IRR stands for Internal Rate of Return. IRR returns the growth rate of an investment. IRR requires that the cash flows are at regular intervals. Alright, here's the format of the IRR function. Let's look at an example. Cash flow amounts are the investment and income amounts. A cash outflow is input as a negative amount. A cash inflow is input as a positive amount. Rate guess is optional, and is the guess of the interest rate. If this attribute is omitted, 10% is used as the default value. Going forward, here is the objective of using the IRR function. To calculate the IRR for an investment of rupees 50,000, yearly income of rupees 10,600, investment time frame of 6 years. Alright, let me type the investment data here. Let's type the IRR function formula in this cell. First, type equal to I R. Select IRR. For cash flow amounts, select this range. Press enter. There you go. This is the internal rate of return this investment would give after 6 years. Now, let's calculate the IRR, for each of the 6 years. Type the IRR function formula in this cell. For cash flow amounts, select these two cells to get the IRR for year 1, and press enter. Now, before we copy the formula down these cells, we have to make the address of the investment cell, C3, absolute, because the investment amount should not change. Click this cell. Click before letter C. Press F4. Delete these two dollar symbols, because we want the address of cell C4 to be relative, and press enter. Copy the formula down these cells. Alright, here are the IRR for each of the 6 years. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.